Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at installing CraftMaker Pro onto your Windows machine. So you should have logged into the members area and followed the download link from there and save that to your desktop or your downloads folder and you'll end up with the installer file um, that you have here. So we'll just double click on that. And that should start and launch the setup. Okay, so we'll follow through the prompts here. We'll just say next. You agree to the terms. So next again. And it will tell you where it wants to install. You need to leave this as the uh, default that it says here. So it has to actually go to where it says you can't change this location. So make sure that stays and just click next. Okay, and then click install. Takes a few seconds, it just writes the files. Okay, and then you can leave it to launch on start. So you can just say, yep, if you want to finish, and it will launch it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so once it's actually launched, um, just it'll have these uh, options here. So it says try, buy, or activate. If you are running on a trial version, then just click try if you don't have a license code. If you need to buy a license code, then you can click buy to actually go to buy a license code. If you've purchased, then you just need to click on the activate button here to enter your license code. So we'll click on activate, and it'll ask you for your username. So you just need to enter that. Uh, an organization name if you have one, and then your registered email address. So this should be the email address that you actually used to purchase with. So you just need to enter that. And then click OK. And then you should get the activation successful message. So that's it, you've now installed CraftMaker Pro and you're ready to move on and you can start entering some details into the admin area and also some of your inventory into the parts section.